Kilroy, who has the first Moto win. Levi Kitchen took the checkers, had a two-position penalty. He'll finish third in Moto 1, and we are underway for Moto 2. So this will be interesting right now. This could be the fastest group of the week. Wow. Who was that firing around Luca the outside? Luca Marcellisi, not known for his starts, is actually credited with the hole shot on the 72. There's the 37 right there, almost with the pass. A number 95, it's that Hunter Yoder out front. Again, Hunter has been fantastic off of the gate. Open Pro Sport race. Hunter Clements on that number 37. Man, first moto. Hunter Clements didn't see him up there at the start that time, but here in moto two, taking over the early lead as we head back to Storyland. And look at this, Luca Marsalisi and Hunter Yoder, who has been up front off the start in every moto, battling it out. Luca Marsalisi, we normally see doing work from the back of the pack, gets your Stasic hole shot, wrestles the lead away, and once again is your leader here in Open Pro Sport. Didn't Yoder right behind him. So Marsalisi with his shot at trying to lead one out here, doing the unthinkable, get the hole shot and lead a lap. <laughs> okay, rare as a green unicorn, says Megawatt. A Luca Marsalisi hole shot. Let's see what he can do with it. It doesn't always work. You know, you say sometimes a guy who's known for not getting starts, you're like, oh, if he just got a hole shot. But it, it changes the dynamic of the race so much. Sometimes they panic. We'll see what he can do with it. And There's he's going to have company. Because Clements. look who's coming. Well, there is Clements getting passed by, I believe. No, that's still Marsalisi. See the guys in front of him. Is that Kitchen there we're following? Yeah, Clement's getting zapped here by a couple riders. He's drifted back. So Marcelisi will get himself a whoa uh, let led Robbie Marshall. Sick. Gonna take second place. Yoder Kilroy Rios. Where is Levi Kitchen? 18th place. Guess who's right behind him? Two spots. Jet Reynolds. Wow. A lot of work gonna have to be done now by the 47 Yamaha of Kitchen and the 79 of Jet Reynolds. So. Making hay while the sun shines, such an overused cliche, but you got to do it. These guys are way back. Well, a lot on the line here because, uh, as I said, Kitchen won the first moto, so we thought he had a two-position penalty for uh, jumping with a red cross flag, so he's actually credited with third. So he is in must-win situations in these motos to win the title. And there's Jet Reynolds. Way man. back early. Uh, we found Reynolds here on the 79 green Kawasaki. Two spots behind are the, the 47 of Kitchen. Things have definitely not gone Chet Reynolds' way so far this week. One bad start, one good start for the fall. Another bad start here. But hey, looking pretty good for Preston Kilroy on that number 80. He seems to come to life late in the moto. He gets faster and faster as the moto goes on. So Kilroy to start in the number four spot. That's a good Chet strong Thomas start. Oh, and that's trouble moves. for them. Hymas, he had a great finish in that first moto as well on the number 86 machine, I believe. I think it was nope. seventh actually. He did not. He one. finished sixteenth in the first. Nope. Oh, doesn't have it. We don't have it listed here. I believe it was seventh for Hymas in the first moto. So he has some work to do. Points could be all over the map. But you got to watch that Suzuki number eighty just ahead. That is the eighty-six of Hymas just ahead of him. Kilroy. That is your first moto winner. And Kilroy running about fourth right now. So they all have some work to do. There's Yoder on the Honda. Leader's not really getting away. That's kind of a good thing for Levi Kitchen and Jet Reynolds. Trying to keep tabs on Kitchen and Reynolds as they work their way through the field. And there they are right behind each other. There's Kitchens and Reynolds tucked right behind him. He's just like a fullback cutting a swatch right through this field. They're going to work their way right together through the field. There's Kitchen. A couple of spots back is the 79 of Reynolds. Take a look at those lap times, and holy cow, on the move. Preston Kilroy, 155. Chance Hymas, 155. Your leader, a 156. Move back just a little bit. Tommy Rios in that sixth spot. He's a 158. Cade Namorina, 157 in that seventh spot. Colin Park in eighth, a 158. Brandon Walker, a 158 as well. And Jack Burnett. And Marcelisi not really running away with this as they hit the Ten Commandments. Chance Hymas trying to keep pace with Preston Kilroy just in front. That's Hymas on your screen. There goes Kilroy right out of the shot. And here comes Kilroy on the inside of the Yamaha. And just like that, Kilroy will take over the lead on the number 80. He puts the 72 behind him. So Kilroy making a couple of passes. Robbie Marshall is not in the picture now. That was a nice move. Set that up real well. Just outbreaked him a bit. Used some momentum. 
slid the throttle to it and just able to put the Suzuki right out in front of that Yamaha. Nice move. There's Hymas just going to land right in your picture there. So this is good for Preston Kilroy. Kitchen way back. He's got a great chance to win this moto going away. Interesting through this beach turn, everything happening all at once. You've got Marcelisi trying to get a moto win. That would be absolutely massive in a pro sport division. Robbie Marshall, been there, done it, long time pro, making it look pretty good. But then, cha valuable championship points on the line. If Preston Kilroy can get off and win this moto and have 1 1 scores, he would be in complete control. The door is open right now for the Suzuki man. Yeah, he's got it. He made the pass on this lap, got around Marcelisi. Marcelisi trying to chase him down. That's the best thing you do, just throw a rope around him, let him drag you around and pull you away from Kitchen. And the push from Jet Reynolds way back in the pack. Kitchen approaching top 10 as we speak here on lap three. I believe that's Marshall on the move coming up through there. Check it back in on Hymas there. You just saw the Kawasaki go through ahead of Yoder. So it is Kilroy, Marcelisi, Hymas. And now we've found Kitchen. He's into the top 10. Yeah, he's got an outside shot of winning this thing still with a 154 in traffic. That is absolutely moving there. Chance Hymas now starting to work. Look at him finding rhythm through the Mike Treadwell breaking bumps there. And he'll jump right past or almost past Marcelisi. Inside Marcelisi for the moment is your second place rider. Ah, there it is. Ch Chance Heim is coming to life here. So the first moto, I believe, had a bad start in a crash. Showing what he's made of here in moto two, getting up to second. I would not count out Chance Hymas making a run for the moto win here. That was sweet from one rut to the next. Just went and took the race line away from Marcelisi. And I got to tell you, made it look real easy. But jumping from rut to rut like that, man, that's risky. Making it look easier than it certainly is. So Chance Hymas really went next level, got picked up by Team Green. Last year we had a 250B and Schoolboy 2 were absolutely loaded. Five or six really big names on factory teams. And Hymas came out on top of the title in Schoolboy 2, moved to the A class. Kitchen probably has the highest profile right now, but Hymas might be number two. And uh, Hymas just turned 16 uh, about a month or so ago. So he might be able to come back here even next year and he's already this good. He's really, now. yeah. Yeah, give him another year, get a little stronger, a little mentally tough. And now he it looks like you're right, he's going after Kilroy. He looked great in the first half of the moto earlier in the day when he was matching he the speed with Kitchen, so why not? But this is a best case scenario for Kilroy. He is strong late in the moto. He's good right now all the way through. Hey, good point. Yeah, we did see in their moto earlier today, Kilroy, lap six or seven, put in his best lap time. So Kilroy's not gonna be easy to track down. We'll give you the order again. Hymas second. There he is in the 86. Marcelisi third. Robbie Marshall trying to hang on to fourth. Then it's Yoder, Amarine, Rios, Kitchen up to eighth. Then uh, Cullen Park and Brandon Walther round out the top ten. Uh, there trouble. is the 47 of Kitchen. Who's he closing in on? Is that Amarine that he's trying to get right now? Or maybe Rios? And look who's tumbling down in the standings. Jet Reynolds back to 18. Kitchen makes the move on Rios. Oh, so Jet Reynolds back to 18th. Man, it's it has been a rough go. Now Kitchen now going after, I believe, Yoder on that Honda. Tripling right there, triples again. Triples a rut. So that may be Amarine right directly in front of him. On the 32. Headed to Storyland. So he got Rios. He's now closing on Amarine. Making passes, that is good. Yeah. The problem is he still has too many to make. This would only be, I believe, sixth place for Kitchen. And because he was credited with just third in the first moto, he has to win motos, or at least finish ahead of Kilroy, who is leading this one. Now, Kilroy might be under pressure from Hymas before this is said done. But Levi Kitchen is really gonna have to pull something out late in this moto. Yeah, I mean, that's the best case scenario for Kitchen as well for Kilroy and Hymas to battle it out. Maybe he gets a shot at them by Moto's end. You can see he's giving you his best. He knows he's got to put ones on the board. And he's got a couple of riders, three riders directly in front of him, which I say in two laps, he's got a shot at being around. Look at him come around the outside, Jason. Looking at the gap here for Kitchen. He just closed that whole deal down. Look at this. Oh, he's right there. Amarine gonna have to hustle to hold him off. And Yoder on the 95 right in front of Amarine. There's Kitchen on the 47. And the real problem, it's an eight or maybe 10 seconds all the way up to the lead. Can Kitchen get through them without losing a bunch of time? 
I mean, he just turned a 153 in traffic, which is just a tad slower than the fastest lap put forth by Kilroy. Hopping those bumps on the inside, that Yamaha mechanics area. Here we go. Through the twisties after the start. Kitchen made a pass on Rios a lap ago here. Cannot quite get. No, wait. Did they actually both? They just got him. They, they got both got Yoder. Unbelievable. What happened there? Just yep. bad line choice? Oh, there's Amron another one. And Kitchen getting Yoder. Hey, Amron's no joke. He almost got on the box earlier in the morning on that early moto. He yeah. did. He got third. Oh, he did get yeah, third. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he got a third in the other Pro Sport moto earlier today. We have 250 Pro Sport and Open Pro Sport, but a lot of these kids will race at 250 in both because that's the bike they ride more often. And look at Kitchen. He's going wow. after Amaron now. And they're both going after Robbie Marshall as well. They're going to zap him right here. They'll zip right around the outside. Kitchen may get a two for one again. He is really good at those BOGOs. There's one on Marshall, but he may be a lap down. No, he wasn't. That was the 74. He was fourth. He just let them both ride by. And he's going to get them both. I think Marshall might be tired here. Right. He's not putting up a fight. Amarine did. But Levi Kitchen has passed them both. So this should be fourth now for Kitchen. Amarine going to try to get him back. I like the fight. A pair of Yamaha teammates, EBR Yamaha, Star Racing Yamaha. Kitchen on that Star bike. Now watch him set sail. Probably going to be one of the faster laps because there's nobody he's going to have to battle with for the most part. Amarine going to try to throw a rope around him. Why not? I like it. Amarine's trying different lines. Showing a wheel to Kitchen, not giving up without a fight. And you said hitch a ride. It could be podium material if they can get to Luca Marsalisi, who's up ahead in third. Now he's going to put his head down, go after Marsalisi. He got the whole shot, right? Yes. He's back at third. Uh, up front. How about this, Preston Kilroy, this is what he does. Lap six, Kilroy just put in his best lap of the moto. Megawatt, you called it. Hey, and you got to think they've flattened this whole racetrack earlier for the most part. So it's a different racetrack. It's probably taken them five or six laps to string together all the good lines. So that explains may, why some of the guys may have gotten great starts are on 450s. This is the open pro sport class, the majority of these guys, and random gate pick. So these guys are majority on 250F, so. Yeah, Jet Reynolds' mom, I was just talking to her about that. She was saying, it, it's so weird we've run two motos in one class and it's our first moto in this one. So this is going to be a great lap time for Levi Kitchens. It took him about a lap, and look at him go. He's got Marcelisi. He's finally there. This is where inside line. Oh, he dives line. to the inside already. Let's see if Kitchen can make short work. Marcelisi, he'll fight you. Able to hold Kitchen off for the moment. So our bad. This is Moto 1 of Open Pro Sport. We've run two motos of 250 Pro Sport. There you go. Kitchen is sitting on a 3-1 in this class. You get the random gate pick in the first moto, which is right here. Kitchen with a bad start. Trying to make up for it at least trying to get it on the podium. I don't know if they'll have time to get any faster or further up than third, but third's not going to be easy. Marcelisi is doing everything he can to hold him off. Man, if you are a team scout, you got to like what Preston Kilroy, he is throwing down as good a lap as the best in the business out here. He's got the fastest lap in the race. He's three seconds out front of everybody else. So Preston Kilroy putting it together this week. I'll tell you what. Oh, as uh, Kitchen gets inside like and he's got Marcelisi covered. So he's up to third. I tell you what, you know, last choice. year we had Dylan Schwartz, one of the best in the A classes. Kilroy was very good in B. Uh, it's about time when I guess we stopped being surprised that the Bar X Suzuki team. <laughs> yeah. They're good. They're good. They're just good. Uh, they Schwartz good. won a moto last year in Pro Sport. Schwartz got a sixth in a moto at uh, Pro National this year for that Bar X Suzuki team. Kilroy putting it together right now. I thought Hymas would make a run at him. There's still time, 3.7 seconds between first and second. Hymas in second, Kilroy in the lead. And here comes Chef Levi cooking it up right now. Is there time? I don't think so. 12 seconds he would have to make up on that. Yeah, he hasn't been that much quicker now. 
things have kind of settled in. He had a 154. Hymas with a 153 was actually quicker. So he's going to have to really put something together, or you just stay where you're at, and keep it on two wheels, don't take your chances, because this has been a wild, funky week so far. Woo! That was little... nasty. I saw that across the way there. Man. Flipping it sideways. Big whip from Levi Kitchen, wheeling over these bumps. A lot of Blue Crew contingency money about to get shelled out by Donnie Luce. Open that wallet up. You got three guys going to come to you with their hands out after this one in the top five. Checking the lap times up front. Kilroy maintaining it. 4.3 second gap over Hymas. Again, Moto 1 here of Open Pro Sports. So we have a shot. All three of these guys, they might just hook it up in Moto number 2. When the starts tend to level out. Back to our leader, Kilroy on the Chaparral Barak Suzuki. Kilroy, I feel, has been close the last couple of years to this type of success. Honestly, the starts have uh, killed him in previous years, but he got a good start this time. And as we were saying, because he's so good late in the race, if he could just get the lead early, you're not going to catch him. Yeah, he looks great right now. Fantastic. This is a ride he's been waiting for. He's earned his ride right now. A lot of time left, three and a half minutes. Uh, a lot can happen right now. But Kilroy absolutely has this thing on cruise control. Uh, put himself in good position early, Queach, and that's all it took. And he let his speed do the rest. And Jet Reynolds finally approaching the top 10 after he was there. Fell all the way back to about 19th to 20th. Now back up to 11. What a dismal first couple of days for Jet Reynolds. He has been on the ground a few times. Yeah, championship's probably out of the question now for Jet. But the good thing is, if he just pops off one moto win, it can rectify everything. You're sure. just looking for confidence, just something to build off of, and there'll be plenty more opportunities uh, for that, even if the titles uh, appear as a map. It'll be pretty tough for Jet Reynolds there as we watch Preston Kilroy. Man, does he look good. Is that Hymas right there behind him? So he's still within I'm earshot. Still digging. You'd like to see that, not settling for it. So two less than three minutes to go, so we should see the two-lap board coming out next go-around for our leader, perhaps Preston Kilroy, as he looks over at the mechanics area. Dude, you couldn't have scripted this moto any better there. Yeah, impressive what this team has put together. Like I said, last year, you had Dylan Schwartz, very quick. Two-lap board Kilroy is right out. Behind. Two-lap board, yep, is out. Look at this. He's, he's Chance putting Hymas not giving up on it from second. You're right. He had a... Uh, Look at that, the lap times tell you it went from four to three seconds to the deficit. He had a 155 to a 154, so Chance Heim is gonna take a run. All right, so white flag will come out this go-around for the number 80 Preston Kilroy on that Bar X Suzuki. So this is their first moto. It's a little bit of a different way of doing our pro classes, but the Open Pro Sport, they have not raced. This is their first moto, so a clean slate for these guys. So Preston Kilroy looking at a one going into moto number two in this Open Pro Sport. You can ride a 250 or a 450, and Kilroy looking absolutely perfect. Kilroy, Kilroy with the fastest lap on lap four with a 152.7. Kilroy is killing it. Kill Bill, Kilroy. There's Kilroy, the white flag is out. One more lap to go up and over that little triple over the Tunnel of Love and Preston Kilroy looking fantastic as he shoots across the starting line by the billboards. Working his way through lap traffic. Looks over at Larry Brooks over there, who, giving him a big thumbs up.
Chance Hymas continues to dig. He's still in the shot here. One little mistake by Kilroy. He's got it down to 3.4 seconds here on the last lap, so Kilroy cannot let up. There's Kilroy. There is Hymas on that number 86, Green Kawasaki. He is going to push Preston Kilroy to the end here with about a minute's worth of work to go here on the last lap. Moto one. All right, a few more turns remain for the Bar X Suzuki ride of Preston Kilroy around that big right-hand sweeper. He'll put that lapper on his right. Hopefully he won't run him off the racetrack. And Kilroy has the VP Fuels checker flag in his sights, and he earned it wire to wire. You can hear the bike outside. How about that, Jason Wygant? Yep, just talking to Myron Short. There's Larry Brooks, everybody with this Bar X Chaparral Suzuki team. And as I just said to them, we need to stop being surprised with these results from this Suzuki squad, be it on the pro side or here at Loretta's. They win motos year in, year out. We got Dylan Schwartz doing some serious work on the pro side as well. And Preston Kilroy, who knows, he could be sitting on two championships by the end of this week in the pro sport division. This is actually his second moto win, two different classes. But he has two moto wins to his credit. Chris Wheeler and everyone from the Suzuki RM Army, they are pumped on this. Kitchen able to come from way back for third and an excellent effort not giving up on it with Chance Hymas who finished second and kept Kilroy Honest all the way to the end. But man, are they pumped down here, the Suzuki folks, with that win. And a nice championship scenario we got set up after this first moto as well with three big hitters. Kilroy, Hamas, and Kitchen in the top three. So they're all in title contention. I'm gonna try to find Kilroy in here and get him on up. If you race a pro sport, it's just like the pros. You don't get much time for cool down before TV time. And uh, that's where we're gonna be at with uh, Preston Kilroy. Head on up. All right, we got some water poured over him. I'm not even going to talk about the weather because all I'm going to do is jinx it at this point. But we've been good on the weather front. That's all I'm going to say. Well, Preston Kilroy, uh, they've been telling us that he does his best work late in the motos. If he gets up front early, he's going to be hard to catch, and that's exactly what happened here. This time he was up front from the start, and uh, lap six is where he put in his best lap time. This is the way this guy does it. This is actually two moto wins so far this week for Preston Kilroy. Hey, what's it like to have some clean air out front like that? It's nice. I like, yeah, good start to it. Nice. I didn't pick the best chip, but oh, my bike hooked off good, or got off good on the start. Yeah, I just try to put in good laps and not make any mistakes. Yeah, the track's fun. We, we have to, I'm saying, stop being surprised. You've had good results here the last few years. Schwartz had good results now as a pro, but even last year. I think we need to stop being surprised because Suzuki can do it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And give me your secret. We're, the late moto, good lap time. That seems to be your thing. Yeah, I, I like pushing at the end. It gets me going. And, yeah, that's the end, so. Are you doing that? And see where it puts us. So. You want to thank? Uh, I like to thank my mom, my dad, the whole bar, Suzuki crew, Twisted, Pirelli, got me off to a good start, 100% fly, Ken Kudo, he's been putting in lots of hours, um, just everyone, thank you. Preston Kilroy with the win for Bar X Chaparral Suzuki. Great effort for our second place finisher, Chance Hymas, will bring him up here as well. He did not let Kilroy have it early. Kilroy is putting in strong laps late, as we said, and Hymas was matching him stride for stride. Stayed at about three to four seconds the entire way. It'll be fun to watch those two battle it out as we get ready for our second set of motos. This is the open pro sport division. 
But for the most part, you're actually looking at a bunch of 250s here because these younger riders, that's usually what they practice and train on and want to get ready for for the pro ranks. So they'll often ride 250Fs, even though they're allowed to race 450s here. All right, let's bring up Chance Hymas right there in the title fight after this first open pro sport moto. He finishes up second. He gets the silver on the monster team green Kawasaki. Chance Hymas. Yeah, I'm going to meet you out front here, so we'll get your logos in front. Uh, how was that one for you? You didn't let him off the hook. You just kept trying and trying. Um, it was one of my better motos. I got off to a pretty good start, and those 450s were all up front. It was pretty gnarly coming through the pack, and once I, once I got to second, he was pretty far up front, so I was just trying to close the gap, close the gap, but we were pretty much running the same times, and and he didn't he didn't make one mistake. It was, it was pretty incredible. Me and him just... Back and forth, basically, but it was it was fun. It was fun to bounce back and just ride like I usually do. And you're in contention for the title now with that silver. Who do you want to thank? My mom, my dad, Monster Energy, Team Green Kawasaki, um, Fly, Scott, <coughs> Armex, Pod, Alpine Star, um, Maxima, Dunlop, Pucktail Power Sports, Western Power Sports, and everyone else. Thank you. There it is, everybody. Second place, Chance Hymas. All right, yeah, slugging it out, throwing down, whatever you want to call it. They were exchanging fast laps, and uh, so was this man doing serious work from way back to salvage a bronze medal and keep himself in the hunt for championships. We're going to bring the 47 of Levi Kitchen on up. We also have a whole shot award. That would go to Luca Marsalisi. Let's bring up Levi Kitchen. Good come from behind ride. Let's hear it for the 47, Levi Kitchen. Going over here, uh, was this the classic bad chip, bad start? What happened here? Because you were way back early in this one and eating dirt. <laughs> yeah, I uh, pulled like 25 on the chip. And to be honest, there's only maybe five good gates. I mean, they all have holes coming out. So got off to a pretty bad start. Uh, I got pinched off pretty bad. And then, I don't know, the first few laps, I was kind of sleeping, but I wanted to be safe. I mean, people are, you know, you got to be careful. So. About third lap, I started wicking it up and ended up making some good passes. And, you know, my, I don't know, the positives from that are like, I feel like my fitness is great. And I just know that when I get that start, you know, that was probably my best mode of the week. Other people probably don't think, you know, from looking outside in. But, uh, no, I felt really good that moto. So, all right, who do you want to thank, Levi? Uh, the whole Monster Energy Star Racing Yamaha team, my mom and dad, my mechanic, Connor, uh, Bell, Thor, 100%, Alpine Star, FMF, Ethica, Rhino Power. Um, and just everybody else that helps me out. I mean, I can't be here. There it is, Levi Kitchen with the bronze.